Soils are a precious, complex resource. This short video touches on many aspects of soil management and improvement. Soil is composed of minerals, organic matter, water, air, and a mind-boggling number of microscopic and small creatures. Earthworms are at the top of the soil food chain. A plentiful supply of earthworms in your topsoil in winter is a sign of good soil conditions. Many soil characteristics depend on soil texture, the proportions of sand, silt and clay in the soil. Sandy soils hold less water and nutrients than soils with more clay. Loamy soils combine the best qualities of sands and clays. Adding compost will improve any soil. Soils can be acidic, neutral or alkaline. This will affect the availability of plant nutrients and how well plants grow. Many plants like a soil around pH 6 to 6.5. Soil pH is easily assessed. Increase pH by applying lime. Site characteristics dictate what intensity of use the site can sustain without eroding. Normally a slope of around 12% would be the limit for growing annual crops. Orchards Woodlots and pastures, which have soil cover all year, can be grown on moderate slopes. Steep slopes are best left under natural vegetation. Long slopes allow runoff water to gain speed and erosion potential. We can break slopes into sections with contour banks, grade banks and swales, and use cut-off drains beside roads and tracks. Soil, climate, aspect and access to markets are all considered when deciding a site's suitability for a specific crop, tree or pasture. Match the conditions on your property with plant requirements when planning what species and varieties to grow. Keep the soil permanently covered. To protect the soil from raindrop impacts, wind erosion and the sun's UV rays which can kill beneficial microbes. Raindrop impacts initiate erosion and compact the soil. Disturb the soil as little as possible. Cultivating the soil causes loss of soil carbon, perversely leads to soil compaction, and chops long strands of beneficial fungi to pieces. These fungi can move water and nutrients to plants over remarkable distances. Gullies in a watercourse indicate that the channel is trying to make itself larger to carry more runoff. So, check what has changed in the catchment and make corrective action before attempting to repair the gully. Tunnel erosion eats out the soil from underneath until it collapses. For more on this topic, see the video produced by the Southwest Catchments Council of WA or catch it on our website. Turning to soil improvement. Encourage soil microbes. These help provide plants with minerals, improve soil pH in the root zone, and help ward off pests. In return, plants feed the microbes with some of the sugars they have made. In this orchard, grass and weeds keep feeding the soil microbes while the trees are dormant. Making and applying compost tea will stimulate beneficial soil fungi. A tea from lucerne hay will stimulate the soil protozoa. Mix with water, stir for three to four days, then filter, dilute, and apply to the soil in the late afternoon. This can be small scale or mechanized. Have your soil analysed to find its weak links. These may be mineral deficiencies like copper, selenium or zinc. For healthy, nutritious plants, apply what test results tell you your soil lacks and your plants need. There are many good sources for further information, including our website, Rural Life Bridgetown.